सर दी माउंटिंग गैलोपिंग पब्लिक एक्सपेंडिचर मेनली फाइनेंस्ड नाट आउट ऑफ रियल रिसोर्स बट आउट ऑफ पब्लिक डेट्स और बारोइंग्स क्रिएट एन इंटरनल डेट ट्रैप एंड दैट कैन बी ओनली मैस्ड और मैट बाय सींग दैट वट एवर मनी इज स्पेंट इज स्पेंट प्रोडक्टिवली एंड ऑल द मनी दैट इज नॉट बींग स्पेंट प्रोडक्टिवली इज कट आउट स्टॉप देर इज कंट्रोल ऑन एक्सपेंडिचर स्टॉप आई थिंक दिस मैकेनिज्म विल बी मच मोर अफेक्टिव वैन पुट इन ऑपरेशन एंड इट कुड कंट्रोल द डेफिसिट दैट द कंट्री हैज एक्सपीरियंसड स्टॉप नाउ सर द ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड फिलासफी ऑफ द प्लान स्क्वेरली पुट एज द नेहरूवियन मॉडल ऑफ ग्रोथ विद सोशल जस्टिस बेस्ड ऑन मॉडर्नाइजेशन स्टॉप Our economy has progressed on these lines and the entire industrial sector is in the midst of a new industrial revolution stop this new industrial revolution formulated by the ideas of the prime minister is that there should be increased productivity and efficiency stop it also reflects the modern management technique stop all these are the qualitative aspects of the new industrial revolution that is ushered into the country as the second industrial revolution stop first industrial revolution was ushered in by pandit jawaharlal nehru when the second plan was introduced whose main goals were the public sector building up capital good agricultural production and self reliance of the economy stop the country has progressed in this direction and india is now one of the most industrialized economies stop but there are large gaps stop and prime minister has introduced the second phase of the industrial revolution with its emphasis on modernization efficiency and productivity stop this applies not only to public sector but it also applies to the new technologies that are being used in the agriculture sector stop the breakthrough in agricultural production is concentrated only in certain region stop while there is great resurgence in certain areas of the country their areas have difficulties stop only a certain class of people are benefiting because of the agricultural development stop water management technological management and other inputs used in agriculture are costly and the result is that the cost of production in agriculture is as costly as the industrial production stop therefore by introducing the new management revolution in agriculture and industry there will be more and more emphasis on modernization efficiency and getting the best results out of the investment and i only like to point out that it must be made much more broad based in the sphere of agriculture stop